Everybody that I knew from back then, you know, everybody was telling me like, yeah, you know, like this is not a good decision to come over here and play for a first year program. No, I didn't visit. I guess I just checked Google. Uh, the videos that the media team put up were the only things that I could really use to check the university. I had no clue how the school was going to be. I had no clue if she, you know, had like some um, coaching experience. I had no clue like, if, you know, the school was gonna be supportive, like with the sport and all those stuff, like those are things that really matter to players. I didn't expect to come here at all. And uh, Coach Porsche, he called me up and uh, he told me he was starting, you know, he was gonna be the head coach here and that he was gonna change his program to a winning program. And, uh, and I wasn't too sure about it at first. Yes and no, I wanted to like be at like a really known school and like wow you go there but obviously everybody wants to be a D1 player but you know everybody isn't isn't a D1 player I mean, I mean of course I would love to go to a D1 school and you know the Purdue's and you know UConn of course but you know that's not for everybody well I mean it was it's always a you know dream of an athlete to be D1 but coming here it's just I, I leave a piece of me here and it's awesome to be you know to build a new program to be a part of history basically, and I, I, that's something that nobody can really take away from any athlete here. You know, to look back 20, 30 years from now and see that, you know, hey, I started that, you know, most people don't have the opportunity to do that. If that person is worried about maybe not, you know, playing in a good level, like, I would say that that's not true, you know. Um, even this is a small school in IA, like, I have seen amazing tennis leveling here. To be honest, D1, NAIA, D2, you know, just a name. Uh, I went to a Division One, and then I went to a junior college. And as far as I used to think, like, the goal was D1, and that's all that mattered, but it's really not. It doesn't matter your location, you know, what school you play for, you know, D1 or not. If you're ready, if you're ready to work, if you're willing to work, like, stuff going to happen to you, you know, so. Playing football enough is, is enough for me. Just the fact that I'm playing training, traveling, it's all, everything that I'm doing is actually a bonus. The fact that I could come from England and play in America, the opportunity itself is, I, I can only see positives to it. I want to play as long as I can and I make sure to like dedicate this time to it because I know that I can't be playing for a long time. It's like an addiction. It's, I can't be without it. You know, if, when I'm out there on the field, that's, uh, that's my happiness, that's my place, and I know the way I feel, some people don't understand it. Like, a lot of people, like, a lot of people never understand why I do this, you know, but I don't have to do this, but I do it because that's who I am, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, life is not just about getting a degree, you know, and I feel that playing as poor is an experience that not, not everybody gets the chance to go through. Every time we break it down, we say family, and I really do believe that you know these are my brothers, and that I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna know them for a long time. We were all meant to be here, you know, it's for a certain purpose, and it's just crazy how things work out. I've never played with this many different races, different ethnicities, people from different countries, and I think it's changed my life. Because we have each other's back. If one falls, another one's there to pick pick them right back up. It, it is stressful at times, but it's you are improving, you are going somewhere. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It, it's all worth it, it's all worth it. Yeah, this is what I live for, this is what I do every day.